guys and welcome back to another memory plan with me. This week we are doing August 12th through 18th and we are going to be using my June mystery kit which was siren themed. So I'm going to quickly show you the sheets that came with this kit. This was a mystery kit, the Lux mystery kit for June. So these are the full boxes. They're absolutely beautiful. I definitely wanted to use this kit. I won't be using the check boxes. The functional sheets, deco, and washi. And then it also came with the double box, which I'm going to be using. The glitter headers, the fashion girls, which are gorgeous, and the hollow overlay extra. So I'm going to be using all of those. I also pulled my hollow dates. I pulled my character stickers, I pulled a hollow day extender bougie box from Scribble Prints Co., a regular hollow bougie boxes, and a hollow half cut headers also from Scribble Prints Co., and then I have my scripts in black and hollow, and I have a couple of pictures that I'm going to use one of these in the spread of my baby. I think I'm gonna do this black and white one just because it kind of works with the color scheme. I'm going to do this voiceover for the base and then depending how I feel, I might come back to live talking mode for doing the day to day or this whole thing might be voiceover. I haven't decided yet, but for now we're gonna go into voiceover mode. I'm gonna get started with putting my base down now and I'm starting with my bottom washi. And as I lay this down, I pulled a few questions from my latest questions request section on my Facebook group. So the first question is, what's something unique or out of the ordinary that you're looking for in a house? And I don't think that there's anything necessarily really unique or out of the ordinary that we're looking for, but I do have a wish list of items that specifically we didn't have in our last house because I absolutely loved our house in Orange County so, so, so much. But there were just a couple of things that if I could have changed about that house, I would have. First of all, we want a big yard because we do have a kid and we want more kids and we want them to be able to play outside we want a big like flat backyard where we can have a play set and a trampoline or whatever the kids want and for them to be able to have space to play. Another thing that we want that we didn't have is a big playroom or loft area. We didn't have any open space in our last house that wasn't downstairs in the living room. We would love to have an area upstairs that's like a bonus room or a play area that you know, the kids can have their toys and it can be a little bit messy and the downstairs still looks like really nice and put together. I would say that's it in terms of things that I didn't have in my last house. So moving on to the next question, are you going to be doing any Frozen themed stickers? Frozen 2 is coming out in November. Yes, I do have two Frozen kits coming out. They're very different. You could definitely use them both, but I'm assuming most people will pick one, so stay tuned for that. The next question is, do you like fall better in Tennessee or in California? That is such an easy question to answer. Tennessee, 1000%. California doesn't really have seasons, and so that means that fall and winter is not very fun because it just doesn't feel like fall and winter, but spring and summer are incredible in California because it's not too hot and it's not too stormy and it seriously is just the perfect weather every single day. So I would say spring, summer in California is better and then fall, winter in Tennessee is better. The next question is, please talk Christmas shop plans. We are too excited. So I am gonna have some sort of special December event. I did do an advent calendar two years in a row and then last year I did a Christmas Eve box. It will be something, I do have an idea in mind but I don't wanna announce it yet. I am working on it but there will be something for that. As far as exclusive art Christmas kits, you guys know from my Halloween kits I'm going to have tons of Christmas kits available. Definitely enough Christmas kits released that you could use completely Glam Planner and fill out all your weeks, although I am fully aware that there's lots of beautiful shops and you will probably mix it, but just to give you an idea of the amount of kits that I'm planning on coming out with, I do have some exclusive art Christmas kits already ready and they are absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to bring them to you. 
The next question is new kitten anytime soon. You guys may know that my husband and I had four cats and one of our cats who was named Washi unexpectedly passed away at only age two and it was completely devastating for us. We don't have any plans to get a new fourth cat right now. We have the three. I think we honestly need to just wait until we're in a house and I think that having a second baby would happen before getting a fourth cat. I don't think we necessarily need another cat, but we definitely want another child. Okay, we're back to live talking mode. So this is my base put down. I put all of my date covers, washi, glitter headers, full boxes, foil overlays, the picture of my baby, and I did do a bougie day extender here with a full box on top and the foil quote. So up close, this is what we're working with. I did do the um, square frame on this full box, the corner frames on that full box, the stars on that full box, and then I did the quote on this full box. I did some corner frames here and I did another square on this box. And then I didn't do one on those or on this one, this one, or this one, just to not overfoil. Although I don't think that's a real thing. I don't think you can overfoil. The day by day is definitely the most fun part of doing these spreads. And so I figured I would just come back to live talking mode for this part. So on my sidebar right here, I'm going to put that it was my mom's birthday week. Her birthday is on August 16th. And she was actually out of town on her actual birthday, which was really sad. But we celebrated it later on in the weekend, which I will show you guys. So I'm just putting mom's birthday there. So we're gonna start off the morning by working. Yes, Monday morning working, can you believe it? So this morning I just got up and I forget what I was doing like the Sunday before. Oh, okay, so the week before, just to like put a little bit into perspective, which I did do a plan with me on this, I hadn't, I took like a few days off of like majorly working here, I think so. Yeah, I was cramping really bad on Sunday. I slept in late and I pretty much didn't do anything the whole day. So come Monday, I was like really ready to just like seize the day, carpe diems the day. After I did a few hours of work, I decided to go downstairs and finish organizing our inventory room. We got a custom, well it wasn't custom, it was Ikea, but I built it on the pack system online and we had it put together and oh my gosh, it looks so good down there. I'm so excited for our inventory room. And so I decided to go down there. I had been organizing it in pieces, but I decided to like actually go in and like finish it. Basically just like put the time in and get it done. So for work, I'm going to do a teeny and bop work sticker, which is like my favorite one. I use it, I feel like in every spread. I love it. And then I'm gonna put finished organizing inventory room for the next thing. And then the last thing, I started pulling the sale orders because I'm pretty sure we had done the summer blowout sale on this. No, we had done, yeah, we had done a summer blowout and glitch sale. So I started pulling the sale orders, which took hours, but it was like really fulfilling. I love pulling orders. And then that night after, I would say I worked from the time I woke up until probably four or five. And then that night my family went out to eat at Texas Roadhouse, which is like one of my mom and dad's favorite restaurants. So we tend to go there a lot. You guys have probably noticed that when we go out to eat, it tends to be Texas Roadhouse. We've definitely eaten there like a few times since I started this new planner. And that was delicious, we went, it was me and my mom and my dad and my grandmother and Blair was in town and Alex went of course and it was delicious. I got the chicken that's like stuffed with cheese and it was really good. So I'm putting this Once More With Love food baby sticker down and putting Texas Roadhouse. And then after that, I wanted to go back to Office Depot because I wanted to grab a few more um, of those glitter binders that you guys saw in my sticker organizational video. So this week is obviously a couple weeks old by now. 
Um, we're two weeks behind right now on the spread. But I wanted to go to Office Depot to pick up a couple more of those binders because they were sold out online. They were a, at one point available online and I didn't place my order because the shipping was like really expensive. I just thought it was kind of ridiculous for what it was. The binders were $3 each and then the shipping was going to be $10 and they didn't have like a free shipping promo or anything. So I just decided I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in person and pick up some more of those so we ran by there after office depot and then alex and i ran to the grocery store because we tend to do that at the beginning of the week we just like to have the week started off right if you know what i mean by like having having things like grocery shopping and stuff figured out for the week i'm going to use this grocery bag sticker that comes in my kits on the deco page and i'm going to put it I guess since I put Food Baby there, I'll put it on this side. So we did that and just got some foods for the week. And then we went to bed kind of early as a family. It was really nice. James has been staying up kind of late, but on this night he was sleepy with the rest of us, which was so nice. So I'm going to do this whimsical cat studio, mom, dad, and baby in bed because this literally looks like us when we're sleeping. We have like a baby that kicks me and then Alex is like totally fine. I think this is perfect, so I'm just going to put this down as the base sticker, and there's not going to be any script for this one. It's just kind of self-explanatory with the sticker. Then on Tuesday, I'm starting the day off with a storm sticker because it stormed this entire day. It was so nice because I didn't need to leave the house for anything. I had a lot of orders that needed to be pulled, and so I'm doing this paper and milk little storming character sticker like he's in the rain and I'm going to put stormed all day I love thunderstorms so much and I'm so like spoiled being here because we didn't have thunderstorms in LA really like ever so it's like really nice when I can enjoy them now then I just put in that I worked for a few hours. I got some designing done, some customer service, just miscellaneous work things. I just have work written down in the script just to encompass everything. And I did pull a character sticker for this, this once more with love um, on a computer with like a coffee cup because that was me this day. And I'm going to put in work. And then I had an afternoon coffee and I wrote that down because I hardly ever have coffee after my like morning coffee that I have. And I typically have two in the morning spaced out over the first couple hours after I wake up and then I don't have any more the rest of the day. So this was like kind of crazy that I ended up going back and having even more, but I did. So I'm putting this in and this is kind of layering over the sticker a little bit more than I meant for it to. I might see if I can peel up. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, I'm just going to do it anyway. It's going to kind of cover the glitter header, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to put that I had that afternoon coffee. Clearly, I wasn't doing super exciting things this day because <laughs> I have room to write that I had an afternoon coffee. Then I went down to the inventory room and I pulled... 400 orders it took me pretty much the whole day most of my day on this day was taken up pulling these orders and I felt really good afterwards my back was like killing just because it, I was like on my feet pretty much the whole day bending over and pulling orders out but oh it felt so good to be done with it and then and I'm using these half cut headers in between all of these things if you're wondering what all these things that I'm putting down are and then I am going to put a half box and I'm going to put that I went to Chili's with my family and you might be like you guys eat out so much and yeah this week I definitely feel that way at least for Monday and Tuesday I feel like eating out two days in a row is rare for us because my mom typically cooks but this was just a weird week so I am going to put that I pulled those 400 orders. I was so worn out this night at Chili's too. Like I just remember being like, I need a drink and I need to just sit here from pulling those orders. Okay, 
And I think I must have been tired anyway because I did have that afternoon coffee. So I think I was just like going into the day already more tired than normal. I just remember being tired that day. And then after that, the next day, the first thing that I put is that it stormed again because this was like two days in a row where it was just like non-stop storming. And I loved it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't have a character sticker for this one. I'm just going to put stormed again. And these were like big storms, like lightning cracking, thunder, like shaking the house. It was amazing. I loved it. And then I'm going to just put work in again. I feel like this was a really boring week. Actually, no, this day, this day looking at my notes did not turn out very well. And now I'm remembering it more. So it stormed in the morning and then I put work down and I'm going to put a character sticker for this which I pulled a wonton in a million uh, laptop work sticker, which I think is really cute. Just something a little different from the other ones. I'm going to put in my work script. And then I'm going to do another. I don't think I'm going to have room for another half header. I'm going to put in. Let's see. No, there is room for a half header this in and the script for this box says everything that could go wrong did I did not have a good day this day I just got all up in my feelings and I was just not having a good day my emotions were all over the place this day we also were having a lot of issues in shop with just like various things with our printers and we had a paper order that was delayed and we were afraid it was going to make our packages even more delayed, but it actually didn't. Um, we got our packages out when we were supposed to, but it was just like lots of things all at once. And I just started feeling sad and you guys, I'm not a sad person and I don't get sad very often like at all, but this week was the start of two weeks of just feeling so down. And you'll see that it will reflect in my in my spreads but I think it actually started at the end of the week before this I started taking some like a little bit of more time for myself like I took a nap on this day which like I never take naps and I don't know I was just starting to feel down and it hit me all on this night and I ended up just sobbing to my family on the sofa downstairs so I'm pulling in some summer multicolor. I'm going to pull in this like kind of purpley gray color down here in the corner because I didn't have a label sampler for this because it was um, like before I was doing label samplers. So I'm just going to use these, this purpley gray color. I think it's like a nice accent color. And I'm just gonna put an In My Feelings script. So I ended up sitting in the living room and both my sisters were there and my husband and my dad and my mom and my grandmother and I just sat there and like cried to them. They were very alarmed, especially Alex. Alex kept telling my dad, my wife is never sad. If she's crying, something is very wrong. Like he was so scared, bless him. Oh man, yeah, it was just a bad night. So then after like crying my feelings out for a while, Alex had cooked dinner this night. He made, um, if I remember, it was like beef and rice and cheese all melted together and it was served kind of like pot roast style and it was really, really good. And then, but I didn't even write that down like in on here. And then after that, I went upstairs and I went on a cleaning spree because I tend to do that when I'm like not feeling well or it just kind of makes me feel better if I am kind of having like a blah moment and so i'm doing a clean stuff script with a teeny and bop like cleaning vacuum sticker and bop is on the back of the vacuum it's very cute and then i'm gonna pull another multicolor in i'm gonna do um this light gray or maybe this medium i'm gonna do this medium gray here because again i need more strips and i'm just going to put that it was a sad night with a crying teeny and bop. I'm a couple weeks removed from these feelings at this point, and I'm actually like back on an upswing. 
But like, it makes me so sad to like read all of these scripts and just, I can like, I just remember it so well. Like it's bringing me back to that moment of just being so, so sad. So I went to bed and I have a little crying teeny bop sticker. It was very sad. So that is the first page done. Beautiful the way it turned out. Moving on to Thursday. On Thursday, the first thing that I'm gonna put is that Blair left to go back to Nashville. She had pushed it as far as she could, but at this point she was going back to school the following Monday and she needed to get back to Nashville so that she could get settled and make sure that everything was organized. And I don't know, to be honest, like part of my feeling really sad might have been subconsciously that I was sad that she was gonna be leaving because She's been here for a long time and we just had such a good summer and I knew that, you know, I was sad she was going back. I don't know if that's necessarily, okay. I try to put this half cut header down before my half box to like space it right and it is just like not working. Let me put that down. Um, I don't think that that is what it was, but like maybe it was a little bit without me really realizing it. So I'm putting Blair leaves for Nashville and yeah, that was a sad, sad day. And then I was still feeling really down this day. So I literally did nothing. I'm going to put did nothing and felt terrible <laughs> scripts right now because that was my day. It was not very good. <sighs> I feel like I wish that I had worked more these days, but I really didn't. I just kind of like let myself be in my feelings. And that probably was a good thing because now, a couple weeks removed from this, I feel better. So maybe that was exactly what I needed to do. Also, I do want to say that I had started my period the Sunday before the spread started. And so I might have been partially PMSing during this time as well. But I don't tend to have really bad periods. Like, I have bad periods in that I have bad cramping. But I don't tend to have bad emotional periods. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like it doesn't really feel, this is not going to fit here. It doesn't really feel like that's what it should have been, but maybe it was a little bit. And then I'm gonna put, it's the last thing, this is funny. Alex thought he saw a UFO on this night. He texted me the next day, I posted this on Facebook, but he texted me the next day and he was like, last night I woke up and I was so alarmed because I thought that I saw a UFO outside of our window, but it was actually just the moon. And then he texted me an article that that night had been the largest moon like of the whole year or like the moon appeared the largest, we were the closest to it or the axis was turned the right way, I don't know. Basically the moon like, looked really big that night and he noticed it and he thought it was UFO and I just thought it was really funny so I put it in. Then on Friday it was my mom's birthday and it was sad because she wasn't in town because she had actually gone back to Nashville with Blair because Blair had her orientation for college on this weekend and so mom had actually gone back with her to like go to orientation like you do with your kids and so she wasn't here but we ended up celebrating it later in the week and I'm gonna use this Bippity cake sticker for her birthday and I'm pretty sure I think my dad actually drove down to Nashville and they all went out to dinner as a family like my mom and my dad and Blair but Alex me and Jelly and little were all here and then on this day I'm going to use my summer multicolor and I'm gonna pull in a filming tracker and I filmed my new release video. And I'm also going to be putting, if I can find the right sheet, I'm gonna be putting that I started feeling better. So mentally, emotionally, I was starting to kind of come back into my regular mood on this day. So maybe it was period related, I don't know. It was like bad enough that my sister, Blair, was like, are you sure you're not pregnant? Because I was just acting so abnormal for me. Like, I, I don't get really sad like that. Like, I really don't ever. And yeah, I like took a pregnancy test and everything. I'm not pregnant. And I, I don't know what was going on. So I'm gonna put feeling better. right here 
And then I'm going to put that we had pizza with my grandmother. Did I actually, I wanna use, I think I wanna use this green one. No, I'll use this blue one. Okay, so I'm gonna put pizza with blah and pretty sure that I have some pizza character stickers, but I don't think I pulled one, did I? No, that's okay. I think it's because pizza with blah kind of took up, like the script takes up kind of a lot of the box. So I didn't do a character there. And then I'm gonna do a half box and I'm going to put that I read for hours this night. So I took it really easy again, just really chilled out. Even though I was starting to feel better, I just didn't like push myself at all. I, if you'll notice, I didn't work a lot this week at all, like compared to how I'm normally like a workaholic. I normally put in long hours every single day. Like I normally will take one day off a week as like a weekend. So the fact that I like took several days and like didn't really do much is crazy. But yeah, I was just kind to myself emotionally because I needed it. So I have this paper and milk reading character sticker here and it's so so cute she has like a little cup of tea I'm just gonna put red for hours and if you're wondering what I read I was reading a book called Daughters of the Lake by Wendy Webb and I loved it so much I'm actually on a kick right now and I am reading through all of her books I think she only has five and I'm on the second to last of all of them they're not related or anything I'm just like reading through them and I really really love all of her books so far they're so good so that takes us to saturday i ended up taking this entire day off work which shouldn't really surprise me because i took the entire like second half of this week completely off of working but i'm going to use the summer multicolor, this purpley gray color here and on this day my parents were in nashville still and so it was just me and alex and little um, Jelly was in town, but she was like off doing something. She was like with her friends. And so I just had a family day with Alex and James and it was really nice. We, you know, as much as like, of course I love being with my family and being like the more the merrier very much so with my family, but it is nice to just have time like as a little family trio at the same time, you know? So we did that and then I ended up painting my nails because I wanted to film videos the next day. I didn't end up filming my videos the next day, but I went ahead and painted my nails on this day anyway. So I'm going to put that in in hollow script if I can find painting my nails. Yes, there it is. And I'm probably going to use I'll use like the nail icon on this as well. I hardly ever use my icons. That's kind of cute. So nail icon. And then I put no work today because I completely like got off my laptop. Like even on the other days, even when I said I wasn't working, like I was kind of puttering a little bit, but like not really not putting any sort of like rules on myself. But on this day, I really just shut off all like everything. So I'm gonna put this little like family sticker because it's really cute of me and Alex and Little and I'm just gonna put no work today. And then in this spot right here, I'm going to use a summer multicolor and I'm gonna just do maybe this medium gray. We got McDonald's that night. Oh my gosh, like looking back at <laughs> this week, I ate so bad like every day. But, you know, I chalk it up to like I was having a down week. I actually almost didn't do a plan with me on this week because I was like, I'm just going to be so down when I'm like talking through the days. But you guys, this is my life. Most weeks are like really beautiful and loving and this was not one of those weeks. So, yeah. But we did get McDonald's and it was really, really freaking good. And I loved it. Do I have a character sticker for this? Yes. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. It's like a McDonald's once more with love munchkin. I love it. Eating a burger. 
Sunday I did use the day extender because I wanted to use this last box but I also had more things that I wanted to write in here so on the top I am going to put a car icon and I'm gonna say that mom and dad came back home from Nashville on this morning so I'm gonna do that one in black I am trying to alternate these we were very excited to see them even though we loved having a little bit of family time. I'm gonna actually cut off this little bit that's hanging over because that will annoy me. Then I'm going to put that we went grocery shopping just to get a head start on the next week. I was feeling a little bit better. I kind of had this like seize the day type desire to have the next week be not as bad as this week was. And then I'm going to put that I worked in shop. So I don't work in shop um, every day or most days. I work from home on my computer. I wonder if I can lift this. Oh my gosh, I can. That's awesome. And move this up a little bit so it's more centered. So I'm gonna put that I worked in shop. I can't even remember what I did. I think I might've worked on inventory and I'm gonna put this little wonton in a million like covered in stickers character there. And I'm gonna cut the little edge there too. Normally these little edges going over the lines doesn't bother me because it just lays flat on the sheet but for the day extender it would bother me. Then I'm going to put that Blah made meatloaf. So she made like a birthday dinner for my mom with a cake and everything and we celebrated my mom's birthday on this night um which was a little bit funny because like my mom has never in her life like been like oh meatloaf is like the best food ever <laughs> like i don't know why she picked meatloaf for my mom's birthday dinner but it was really good and then i'm going to put um i'm gonna put two strips from summer multicolor so that I can center this right. So I'm going to put birthday cake because she did make a really delicious cake for my mom's birthday, it was so good. She made it from scratch. It was like a vanilla, um, like an angel food cake type, like fluffy cake with some homemade chocolate ice cream. It was really good. And then the last thing I'm gonna put on this is that Alex ate too much meatloaf because you guys, Alex ate the whole meatloaf like we all got the slice we wanted he didn't eat you know what other people wanted to eat but everything that was left he ate and then he had a tummy ache that lasted all night I shouldn't be laughing at him but it's just so funny because I could never imagine doing that like I am not someone who can I don't really overeat like I don't like the feeling of my stomach being super super full and so when people are like, oh yeah, like on Thanksgiving, I ate so much I had a tummy ache. Like I never know what that means, but Alex does do that. And so he had a tummy ache like all night because he ate like the entire meatloaf. So I really shouldn't be laughing at him, but he really, really liked it. And he ate like the whole thing. My grandmother was so proud. And then for this last one, I'm gonna put peaceful planner time. I ended my week just having a little bit of just time in my planner, not on camera. Sometimes I'll pull characters for future spreads or I will organize my collection or I'll do a spread every now and then where I don't do a plan with me and that is considered peaceful planning time. And so that is everything. That brings us to the end of Sunday. So I'm gonna show you everything up close and then I will pan out. So, so pretty. I love that day extenders have become a thing because I love how it's like a pop-up book in your planner. And then this was the first page. This collection is so, so pretty. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but this was a mystery kit, part of my mystery subscription. And this was June's kit. And it's not available in the shop because my subscriptions are exclusive to the subscription. I will link that below. It is a mystery sticker subscription, exclusive art, and you get one every month unless you cancel or skip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this spread because I love it. Like all of the hollow. It's so pretty, even though it was kind of like a sad week. Oh, also, if you're not a member of my Facebook group, you might not know what this picture is, but 
You guys, my baby was the big spoon. Like I was laying on my side in the bed and he's on top of me like laying and spooning me and it was just so cute. So I had to put that in as the picture. It's just a little bit of joy for an otherwise kind of down weird week. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.